Now at five, a vote to keep millions of dollars going into school districts across South Georgia. Right now, counties are voting on whether to keep or kill a one cent sales tax. During a time when many families are still struggling through the pandemic, ABC 27's Cara Bailey is following the story tonight. Districts I spoke with say holding on to the penny sales tax will keep Georgia schools going and get them some much needed improvements. But on the average in a five year cycle, we, we collect roughly $20 million. Every five years, voters decide whether to keep the Education Special Purpose Local Option Sales Tax, also known as East Blast. The tax helps school districts fund major renovations and keep things like buses and technology up to date. It also helps us buy computers. Um, we're a one to one in our district. When COVID hit, um, we had the infrastructure to go virtual just like that because we, you know, of the, the infrastructure we had in place, due in large part to having SPLOST funds. If Decatur County voters approve the tax, it will also help pay off the recently built high school and... and our next big project in our community is a, is a new middle school. Something parents we spoke with say is much needed. I think that'd be wonderful. Both of our middle schools are aged. Uh, one is a old high school and um, I, I think that the children would be better off. In Thomas County, the Thomasville City School District is hoping to make similar changes. We have five campuses in Thomasville City Schools. We have three elementary schools. And with this, uh, if the next East Blast does pass, if our, if our voters agree to support us with a yes vote, um, the three elementary schools will each be modernized and renovated. The biggest challenge this time around, getting voters who have been impacted by the pandemic to agree. This has been a tough time for families. Um, we know that some of them have been impacted by their employment, um, but we do think that schools is incredibly important. It's important for the economic development of Thomasville City and Thomas County. Uh, we believe our students are our, our best resource, our number one resource uh, for future employers and, and future uh, citizens of, of our community. And so while we do understand that there may be some hardships uh, due to COVID, uh, this is a sales tax, which is a, a voluntary tax. Early voting is happening in both counties until Friday. In Bainbridge, Cara Bailey, ABC 27. The last day to vote is March 16th.